Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the James A. Rhodes Health and Physical Education Building here on the campus of the University of Akron. Another PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge event in the books. Akron, four points better than the Golden Flashes here tonight, 58 to 54. Just a typical KSU Akron ball game. The Golden Flashes had a five point lead at the half. Here is how they did it. And it was a pretty big team group effort for the Golden Flashes. As in the first half, they really got it going offensively. The Golden Flashes were able to shoot 46% as a number of players got involved. Kellen Thomas really led the way for the Golden Flashes. He was five for his first five for KSU. All up three. Kellen to the elbow to let it fly. Kaboom! That's differential. Center off one at a timeout, doesn't get it, and Thomas banks it in anyway and makes it a three-point game. While Kellen Thomas, the sophomore, finished with 14 points in 35 minutes with an assist and only one turnover, his sophomore partner, Kalik Spicer, also brought it strong for the Golden Flashes tonight at both ends of the floor. Several vicious two-hand slams and big-time blocks for the product of Detroit as the Golden Flashes' future certainly looks very bright. Down the lane, blocked off the glass. Just turn. Goodson backing in, spinning. Good dish. Spicer raises it up and slam. Now in the second half, it was Akron who deserves a lot of credit for clamping down defensively on the Golden Flashes, holding KSU's potentially potent offense to just one bucket over the last four minutes and 18 seconds. Nobody can say anything about the effort on either side tonight. A clean ball game, very few turnovers, big plays made as they usually are by the expected and the unexpected personnel. Now here's what we know for the Golden Flashes in terms of their postseason plans. We do know two things for sure. They will play on Monday in a first round game at a campus site. We do know it will be away from the Mac Center. Three possibilities. They'll either be at Northern Illinois, they'll either be at Miami or Bowling Green. All of that has to be determined. At the end of play on Friday night, the Flashes were the nine. A Bowling Green win on Saturday makes KSU the 10. The Golden Flashes, if they bring the same intensity on both ends of the floor as they did tonight, especially defensively, where twice this year they were able to lock down the Akron Zips, a very powerful offensive team. They should be just fine on Monday night wherever they end up. The final once again from the jar, Akron 58, Kent State 54. Until Monday, I'm Ty Linder. So long, everybody.